So otherwise, next time we saw two questions that is asked in a TCS and QT 2020 and not a 20 2019 and uh, the motive of this video basically to give you over cap whether this type of question is asked in a TCS and QT and the question which are which is asked in a TCS and QT is quite easy in the comparison comparison of the question that is asked in a TCS code beta so let me show you the question guys so this this is a one of example of the question that is asked in the TCS and QT 2020-19 we have to segregate zeros and one we have a, a string is given in the combination of zeros and one and we have to segregate like all zeros come earlier and after that all ones come okay so this is our first question and our second question is we have to print unique element in an array so means unique means not duplicate the number which has come only once in an array we have to print that number okay so these two questions are asked in a TCS and QT 2019 so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all we have to open ideally you can use any I'm going to solve in a Python programming language you can use anyone but logic is same okay just click on new file and so first we see the first question that is segregate zeros and one suppose we have a number and this is a user input in the form of a string not a string this is basically a teaser that user provide the input function okay so after then we have to convert into a list so basically for converting into an array so for this we can use like n equals to list or inside provide the our num and that is basically the nothing but the string of a number basically integer number and after that so we have to iterate oh and we have to define two lists like l0 for zeros values and l1 for l values okay now iterate over all the elements of a list for i in range for i in for i in n and if i is equal equal zero we just append this one into zeros of list like this one okay so and next condition we check if i is equal equal one we just append into the i1 list by append method so after then after then okay so in the result we have to just now we have a list of zeros and one so we have to apply join operation and that join op operation in a python convert a list into a string uh, after converting into a string we can easily concat them and find our answer so by this for like this string first of all join operation join like this one and join operation provide the l0 and uh, after that apply concatenation and apply again like a join again and after that l1 basically nothing but the first string the string which contained first one oh, now print result i hope it will work fine let's see what happened just just save as any number like uh, seg okay okay so the problem is that we are defining else in the condition in a else part and just like this okay and we know in a else part we don't need to define any condition so just provide else and the next statement so let me run this again i hope it will run that's a problem okay right here for the number like this okay so int object is not iterable don't worry we have to remove int from there and uh, as we remove int from there so now it will be a string and if we compare i with zero this will be generate an error basically else part will run so just make it as a string let me check again okay now so just provide a string in the combination uh, sorry not a zero one zero zero okay 
hit enter okay as you can see guys all the zeros are on the left hand side and all the ones are on the right hand side so now it's working perfectly fine let me run this again like a one 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 zero one one and zero one just hit press enter and you can see guys this code is running perfectly well so this is the solution of the segregate ones and zero program this is basically a seven to eight line of codes in a python if you go for a c and c plus plus or java it will take more lines but the logic is quite easy so this is all about this program okay so now go for the second question that is okay printing unique element in an array so this is basically it can be done in a three line of a code let let check it okay like state let's take a user for taking zoo for taking user input in a python just apply map map function one of the best function for getting user input then user type and provide input function okay so it will take as user input till length length is not defined okay no need for defining length after then iterate over through this list this array you can say for i in m and if and dot count of i count function is basically tells the occurrence of a particular number so we are providing i so what whatever the value of i it just return the count of i from the list it's equals to if the count equals to one we have to print this i okay so i hope it will run just take and suppose providing any array like uh, one two three one 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 like four okay so as you can see guys in the above array there's two and four are the unique element and one is the repeating element so the output is our two and four or we'll run for the different inputs just like uh, let's take okay one and oh, oh, so all the repeating element just press nine again and just all that it oh, not this array repeating it okay so i hope it will print nine okay so the output is nine so our code is working perfectly fine so with the help of these three lines you can actually there are four lines okay so these two solution of the question that is asked in a tcs and qt and tomorrow i will also upload three remaining solution that is asked in a tcs and qt 2019 so stay connected thank you so much for watching this video